Hey everybody, um, this is Craig and uh, I just um, upgraded to iOS 5.1.1 and then downgraded to iOS um, 5.0.1. Um, this is for A5 devices and I did this on iPhone 4S. So um, I have another video that was good for all um, A4 devices and below. Um, and, uh, and so that's good, but um, you, couldn't, um, you couldn't downgrade if you, were, if you had an iPad 2 iPhone 4S or iPad 3. So um, the iPad 3 is a little different. I don't understand why um, they, in this whole thing they advertised the iPad 3 because that thing came stock with I, um, iOS 5.1 and you need your SHSH blobs um, saved and, uh, and uh, they should have been saved on iOS 5.0.1 or, or lower. Uh, so again this is uh, A5 downgrade um, and uh, your either iPad 2 uh, or iPhone 4s um, and uh, you're gonna need your SHSH blobs saved um, so that should have already been done hopefully Cydia has it because it's a lot um, it's a lot easier to use a remote um, with this uh, than, than local because local you'll actually need to um, dig through your files and find the ones that you saved um, while Apple is still signing uh, iOS 5.0.1 SHSH blobs um, so Without further ado, let's get into this. Here, um, when I'm downloading my firmwares, um, you know, I'm on iOS 5.0.1, but if you look at the build, it's uh, 9A405, and now I'm looking at my um, screen, and if you see, there's a couple different 5.0.1s you can download. Um, this 5.0.1, and then the 9A406, so if that's the build you have, that's what you need to download, but that's not the build I have. I have... Um, 98405 so I'm guessing that uh, I don't need that 406 but if yours says 406 go ahead and download that one so I'm just on your desktop I, I just named it jailbreak 432 um, so anyway and what you're gonna need um, is stand by okay I want you to uh, again all the links are in the description I want you to download um, the whatever iPad 2 or iPhone 4S you're, you're downgrading to, you're going to um, save the IPSW for 5.0.1 and get the IPSW for 5.1.1. You're going to put those both in this jailbreak folder. If you plan to use a, um, a uh, local SHS, SHSH blob, put it in here. Um, when I do this process, I'm actually just going to use a remote, but I wanted you to see what this looks like if you're using a local um, SHSH blob. Um, and then the latest version of Red Snow. Again, links are in the description. Your um, SHSH blob should have already been saved on um, iOS 5.0.1. Um, and if that was and it's on your computer and you want to use the ones on your computer, you just go to Advanced in the Tiny Umbrella, hit Command A, then Command C, which will copy all of that. This path right here. You go to Finder, you hit Go, Go to Folder, and then Command V enter okay and this is your um, SHSH blobs so if you know um, see and this is my iPhone 4s 5.0.1 um, 5.0.1 SHSH blob so if you know where it is you can go to it and use it locally um, go ahead and uh, copy this into this jailbreak um, jailbreak 432 it's already in there so I don't need to um, but you copy that into your desktop folder if you know um, where it is. Uh, the easier bet is to just hope, um, or not hope, but know that uh, Cydia has your SHSH blobs and use the remote function on the uh, on um, Red Snow. So again, you, you're going to need your um, SHSH blobs. Um. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do before I restore is do my PKG backup. That way, all my Cydia stuff and my jailbreak stuff goes back right uh, the way I had it. So I'm going to hit. Um, uh, open PKG backup. If you don't know how to do PKG backup, I have a video for that. I'll put a link um, in the video in the description. But I'm gonna hit do backup. Yes, and it's gonna back up. And then if you see um, right here, it's when it's done backing up, it's gonna put it in my Dropbox. See, and so it's backed up. Backup done. Okay, and now I'm ready to restore. And re jailbreak and downgrading, re downgrading, or whatever. Um, just uh, make sure you sync and back up your iPhone or iPad uh, before you start this. 
Um, if you're on iOS 5.1, you need to upgrade to iOS 5.1.1 um, and, um, and go ahead and update uh, or restore to 5.1.1 and, um, and then once that's done, uh, then you can uh, downgrade. But you got to make sure your SHSH blobs from 5.0.1 were saved and, or Cydia does have them uh, while you were jailbroke and, uh, and then you'll be able to downgrade. So go ahead and update to 5.1.1 uh, after you've uh, synced and back up your device. I'm on iOS 5.1.1. All right. And I don't want to be on iOS 5.0.1. Um, so let's hope this downgrades because um, uh, uh, I can't stand not to have the jail broke. So if it doesn't work, I'm going to be pissed. What you should have right now is your iPhone 4S uh, 5.0.1 uh, firmware and your iPhone 4S 5.1.1 firmware. You should have your SHSH blob that you saved and you should have red snow all in whatever you want to name it jailbreak folder on your desktop. So this is the latest version of Red Snow. Okay, we're gonna hit extras. We're gonna go even more, and then restore to an IPSW. You're going to select the one you want to go to, 5.0.1. Okay, you're gonna select the one that you're on. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Okay. Try city of this time. I'm gonna use my remote blobs. Okay, I'm gonna stop video right here while this does its thing and start it up when uh, when it's done. All right, if you can see what's going on, I think this is really really cool. Um, if you see. Um, Red Snow is actually restoring my device for me. There's no iTunes involved here. It's it's taking my SHSH blobs, the iOS 5.1.1 firmware, and the iOS 5.0.1 firmware, and it's actually restoring my device to iOS 5.0.1. Um, there's no iTunes involved here. So this is really cool. This is the first time I've ever seen that. Um, actually upgrading and downgrading firmware without um without uh iTunes. So that's pretty cool. Long process. It took about mm, I don't know, about 10 minutes, but uh you should see this at the end of it. Restore successful and my iPhone 4S was downgraded to uh 5.0.1. Sorry everybody, I forgot to show you the proof real quick. Um so it did work and just to show you that it did. Eh. Come on, there we go. Um general about and here we go. Did it work? Oh, yes, it did. It's right back to where it was. iOS 5.0.1. So it worked. Now that um, I uh, downgraded firmwares to iOS 5.0.1, I'm going to re jailbreak my iPhone 4S. And now, remember, you don't have to use Absinthe anymore. You can use Red Snow. And it's pretty cool. So I'm going to click on Red Snow. All right. Um, you click, uh, see, I, uh, iPhone 4S connected on 5.0.1 I'm gonna click jailbreak and then look what happens to the phone it, it sends something up it says you gotta install the jailbreak um, stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and install it and um, stop. okay there is no password so click next okay okay and then if you check this out, it's going. This is my first time uh, using Red Snow to jailbreak the uh, iPhone 4S. So, restore my phone. Turn on the VPN settings to trigger Red Snow to jailbreak this. Um, you'd have to go to um, you'd have to go to your network and then turn on your VPN. Okay. VPN and then turn it on. Okay. Now click jailbreak and it says jailbreak succeeded. Okay. With this you can always use absinthe. Um but I just wanted to check it out. And so it's restore uh it's rebooting my phone. I imagine uh when it reboots then uh City is going to be on it. 
So there's Cydia right there, um, and that's using the um, the Red Snow um, jailbreak right there. Um, so the latest version of Red Snow will jailbreak that. You just gotta turn, you just gotta go to your settings, um, and then go to network, and then turn your VPN settings on, and uh, just do it that way. It was pretty easy. So I re jailbroke um, my iPhone 4s, and uh, and then I opened Cydia, and I just downloaded this this app right here, PKG Backup. Um, and uh, I'm gonna hit uh, one button. I've already uh, set the settings right and and link my Dropbox account to it. If you don't know how to do that, there's a link in the description to my other video that shows you how to use PKG Backup. But okay, um, as and as you can see here, let's show you. Um, as you can see, I uh, I don't have um, uh, my Y or I Blacklist or any of those um, jailbreak apps that um, that Cydia has. And if you watch this, everything will be right back. My sources and packages will be right back the way it was. So I'm going to go view restore and then do restore. Yup. And watch when this stops. I'm going to stop the video for a minute. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, uh, with my um, iPhone 4S, I got my Y. I got it back. Um, all my stuff was uh, restored with one click with PKG backup. All my sources and everything is um, is in... Insidia, Insidia, where are you at? Do 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 do, do. Oh, yeah, sweet. Okay, and you'll see that all my sources and packages are here, and I didn't have to put any of them in. All my sources and all my packages—they're all there. I didn't have to put any of them in. All I had to do was restore with PKG backup. Pretty awesome. So that's it. Um, uh, don't forget to um, like, uh, comment, subscribe. I uh, appreciate everybody for showing interest in me. Um, but that was it. Um, that was a, a upgrade to 5.1.1, a downgrade to 5.0.1, uh, restoring with iTunes, re jailbreaking, and restoring with PKG backup. Thanks, everyone.